Hello friends, how are you today? Thank you so much for being with me today. My name is Sarah. I talk about books on this channel. All the books that I talk about will be linked in the descriptions of the videos where I talk about them. That is an affiliate link. So if you click on it and you buy something, I will get a cut of that. If you like what you see, hit the like button. If you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time I post, hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. That works on all YouTube channels, not just mine. Today, I want to tell you about a book that I just finished reading last week um, of short stories by Kay Boyle. Um, it's called Life Being the Best and Other Stories. I had never actually heard of Kay Boyle. She has a class classic author and I still had not heard of her in spite of getting a degree in English. Um, she is not particularly well known and apparently wasn't particularly well known in her in her lifetime either. She was born in 1902 and died in 1992. This particular book was first published in 1930. She spent some significant time as an expat in Europe and because of that and the opinions she expressed the stories that she told, she was considered a radical and there is an FBI file on her. It is from that FBI file that we know that she had an affair with Ezra Pound. In the introduction to this book, there is a quote about her, her work from William Carlos Williams. He wrote, her short stories assault our sleep. They are of a high degree of excellence. For that reason, they will not succeed in America. They are lost, damned. Simply, the person who has a comprehensive if perhaps disturbing view of what takes place in the human understanding at moments of intense living and puts it down in its proper shapes and color is anathema to United Statesers and can have no standing with them. We are asleep. That was kind of prescient because she was not well known in her lifetime and, and continues to not be super well known. I mentioned this in, in my reading wrap up. One of the things that the um, the writer of the introduction, Sandra Whipple Spanier, says is that one of the complaints people had about her work was that nothing happens. And um, in, in one sense, that is very true. The resolutions to these stories don't come in the form of big major events. They come in the form of the characters realizing things. They realize things about themselves, about each others, about how their relationships have to change. Um, this, these stories may be kind of grim because very often change is difficult, very often self-knowledge is difficult and hard. I mean, it's difficult to come by, but it's also hard to face in many cases. And she captures that aspect of the human existence, the human experience very well. She also doesn't spend a lot of time on what happens to the characters after they have this revelation. Um, a few of the stories, you know, they might have a conversation or something that, or, a, you know, a, a few actions that let you know they've learned their lesson. They, they know now what they didn't know before. But very often the story ends right with them receiving this revelation, realizing this thing they didn't know before. And um, in most of them, it's left to the reader's imagination to to think about how that will change this character's life, how that will change how they interact with their family or their 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 love interest or whoever. They're not dark, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say her, her world is dark or that her stories are dark, just that they're not trippy, happy, bubblegum. They're they're much more they're much more serious than that. So as I said before, these stories are not for everyone. Some people will love them, a lot of people won't. If you, you know, if you're really in the mood for something with lots of action, something kind of pulpy, something light, like a beach read, this is not what you want to reach for. Um, if you're in the mood to really think and think through what our human life means, what it's like to be in relationship with other people, um, if you love literary fiction, um, these, this is a good choice. Another thing about this, I think this is very, in, very uh, typical of 
the art forms that came out of the time between the two war world wars. People had experienced this war like nothing the world had seen before, and they were shaken by it and uh, trying to come to grips with what it meant for them, what it meant for um, humanity. And I think that this, this book and the stories in it are very typical of that time. Have you read, have you even heard of Kay Boyle before? Have you read her work? Are you interested in it? Tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks. You guys have a great day. Bye.